Welcome to Live a Better Life Tarot channel. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Your donations are welcome and appreciated. If you are new to my channel, please watch the featured video. It should shed some light on my approach and the way I do my readings. Check out the Soulful Revolution channel. Mary Jo, the owner of that channel, was my inspiration to start this channel. I would have never had the courage to do it if it wasn't for her. The video you are about to watch cannot and will not resonate with everybody. However, if it does, I hope it helps you live a better life one way or the other. Let's begin. Hi Sagittarius, this is your weekly March 8th through the 14th tarot reading. Let's talk about your work situation or business situation first. We've got the Knight of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Tower clarified by the Ace of Cups. You could be dealing with um, Earth Sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I was a little uh, confused about the Tower card, so I decided to clarify it. And we have the Ace of Cups clarifying it. And that now makes uh, total sense. So you will have some kind of an offer, some kind of a business or work or finance related offer coming your way out of the blue, all of a sudden, you're not going to expect it. And that will um, either set you free or that will lead to some kind of a new and emotional beginning for you. It could be a new job, a new business adventure or a new project within your existing workplace. Either way, expect something unexpected to happen to you and that will set uh, you uh, on a new course um, and it will be very emotional and um, you will most likely enjoy it, right? Sagittarius, if you are in an established love relationship such as marriage or a long-term partnership, this spread is for you. We've got the Emperor, the Eight of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles, clarified by the Four of Wands. You could be dealing with an Aries. Um, yeah, so you're either dealing with an Aries if your partner is an Aries, or this Emperor card is a husband figure of your relationship. Whatever level your relationship is at. Either way, there is some news coming from that uh, figure, that husband figure, whoever wants to be in control and one of you were waiting for that news and the news is uh, is regarding your relationship because we've got the Seven of Pentacles clarified by the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is a happy partnership, the 1111 card, right? And the Eight of Wands is the uh, news or travel or it could be Cupid's error, so take it as resonates. No matter how you slice it or dice it, this is some news or some travel or something that you've been waiting for, something positive. I only see positive cards on the table. So expect something uh, coming either from your partner or in regards to your partner and uh, one of you or both of you have been waiting this news or this uh, messages or this travel. Let's talk about new love for you Sagittarius this week. We've got the Queen of Cups, the Page of Wands, the Three of Swords and the Moon. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio, especially Pisces because a card for Pisces is here twice. The Moon is Pisces and the Queen of Cups can be Pisces. So you're probably dealing with that water sign or it could be somebody who is very emotional, who often <laughs> where is their heart on their sleeve and um, it could be you yeah I believe that Sagittarius can be that way um, so anyway there is um, an emotional a fiery um, and even passionate offer coming towards you or you're the one making this offer to somebody you are about to meet or just recently met we've got the page of once and this is a card of messages um, it could be a text message, it could be an email or personal message on some social media, right? And um, when this message comes your way, unfortunately, you're not going to be very receptive. Or the other way around. Uh, we've got the Three of Swords. 
here. You know, the, this card speaks for itself. It's a card of a broken heart. And we also have the moon. This is a card of somebody who is uh, not sure. Uh, this is a card of fear. Basically, someone who is feeling kind of down, if you can catch my drift. I don't see any rejection cards, but like I said, the Three of Swords is a card of a heartbreak. So whoever is in the receiving of this uh, love offer or passionate offer is going to feel heartbroken, unfortunately. Well, as I always say, this is just one week. It will get better. It always does. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Sagittarius, this week. We've got the Six of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, yeah, somebody is definitely trying to make a comeback here. The Six of Swords is a card of travel or a card of, uh, you know, going towards calmer waters. The Knight of Pentacles could be that Earth sign, or most likely it's an offer to reestablish this uh, relationship. And this is a solid offer. This is a very grounded offer and they could be coming and bearing gifts. And the Queen of Pentacles is either an Earth sign, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn, or this is somebody who is very grounded, who could potentially work with finances, who is very down to earth and doesn't make any sudden moves. Um, it'll be up to the person on the receiving end whether they want to accept this person or not. But I don't see any rejection cards and this looks very solid and promising. Let's see if anything will surprise you Sagittarius this week. We've got the Ten of Cups, the Six of Swords, the Hangman clarified by the Ten of Swords, then we also have the High Priestess and the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So what I do see here is some kind of a stagnant hanging in the air situation is coming to an end and there's finally movement here. Um, However, don't just jump uh, head first, use your intuition before you make the final decision, before you uh, cut the anchor off, so to speak. Um, the good news here is that we've got both the Ace of Cups and the uh, Ten of Cups. The Ace of Cups is uh, a very emotional love offer or just um, an offer to consider. And we also have the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is a uh, very happy partnership or family card. So whatever stock situation you were in is finally uh, starting to move forward this way. But like I said, do use your intuition before you make the final decision to move forward. And this will surprise you this week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.